Hello and welcome to today's video which is about this question, how can I promote my business for free? Well make sure you stay tuned and listen to the next few minutes of this video carefully because I am going to tell you some free and inexpensive ways to help you promote your small online business. So I suggest that you avoid all distractions and pay attention to what I am going to share with you. Keep watching. Hi, my name is Ashley. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get alerted about new videos. Please make sure you give the video a like because that motivates me to create more content for you. Thank you. So let's get into it. So to begin with, let me tell you some low cost methods that you can use to promote your online business. Here we go. Here is the first way. Use Google My Business to optimize for local search. One of the most powerful free ways to advertise your business is through Google My Business, which enables companies and businesses to manage their presence on Google Search and Google Maps. The tool can boost your rankings in local search results. Ranking high in local search shows you're a legitimate and relevant business. You wouldn't rank number one in Google for pizza places near me if you'd closed down six months ago. Plus, if you rank high in local search, more consumers will choose your business over a competitor's. In today's fast-paced world, convenience is key. Google Business Profile is a free business listing from Google. It allows you to provide details and photos of your business, including your location, services and products. Creating this free profile is a great way to increase your visibility across Google services. Information from your Google business profile may appear in Google search, Google maps and Google shopping. A Google business profile is only available to businesses that have contact with customers. This includes businesses with a physical location like a restaurant or store and businesses that provide services by meeting with clients in other locations like consultants or plumbers. Whether you're looking for foot traffic or web traffic, Google is the ultimate search referrer. A Google business profile helps ensure that people find your business when looking for products and services like yours in their local area. Your Google My Business listing shows searchers where and how to visit your business. A Google business profile also improves your local SEO. In particular, a listing for a local business is more likely to appear when people search for a nearby business using Google Maps. Your Google My Business profile allows you to control and update your contact information, business hours and other essential details as needed. Here is the next way. Check out Yext. The more places your business is listed online, the better your chances of showing up in search results and the easier it is for potential customers to find you. To ensure great local SEO, the details of your listings on every website and online directory need to match up. For instance, if your website lists your company's new phone number, but Yelp lists your old one, this inconsistency could hurt your SEO. Yext scans the web to find every place your business is listed so you can tweak your listings to guarantee accuracy. Let me give you the next method. Attend networking events and mixers. Connecting with fellow professionals at industry networking events is a great opportunity to meet potential consumers in a place where they are eager to discuss your business. The niche topics of networking events ensure you're meeting high qualified leads for example, a Best Technology Startups of 2020 event will primarily be filled with participants who are interested in technology and startups. Particularly for small businesses looking to make their first connections, networking is a chance to get your name out there, meet potential partners and find opportunities for growth. Plus, it will keep you up to date on trends in your industry. Whether you're trying to develop your personal career or forge new business relationships, making offline personal connections has become even more crucial as online social networking becomes the norm. Network before job searching. As anyone who has ever looked for a job can attest, the process can be daunting. Knowing who to reach out to can make all the difference. One way to make the process a little easier is to start networking with people before you even begin looking for a job. That way, when the time comes, you will already have contacts to leverage. Building relationships with people in your industry can help you to get your foot in the door. 
and it can also give you an inside look at what companies are hiring. In addition, you can identify mentors who can provide guidance and support throughout your career. Ask for what you want. The highlight of networking events we all fantasize about is leaving with a concrete exchange that will move our business or career forward. Maybe it's a job offer, getting an investor on board, locking down a recommendation letter, or landing a client you've been after for months. Whatever the highlight, it isn't going to fall in our lap. We can play all the right cards to set us up for the big mo moment, but a time will come when we need to put ourselves out there and firmly express what we want. Your approach to getting what you want from networking isn't all that different, except it's important to express your flexibility. This combination of flexibility and confidence in getting the job done is a brilliant way to frame your next big ask. Be firm on what you want, but present it in a way that highlights the benefits for your listener. Here is the next method. Speak at an association or local event. Similar to networking, speaking at an event about a topic related to your industry is another way to exhibit your expertise. Giving a thought-provoking and powerful speech will draw attention to you and by association your business, which can increase brand awareness and prove your business is qualified to tackle consumers' challenges. To start, brainstorm different topics and volunteer at various upcoming network events and trade association conventions. If you're afraid of public speaking, don't worry, a lot of us are. You could enrol in a local Toastmasters chapter to improve your game. Here is the next way. Put up brochures or flyers. Putting up brochures or flyers in local libraries, coffee shops and businesses is a unique way to market to offline locations where people spend a good deal of their time. You can create free brochures and flyers on PowerPoint or Canva. Depending on your industry, it might even help you reach an ideal clientele. If you're a physical therapist, for example, perhaps you could hand out brochures to local gyms or nearby hospitals. Make sure the brochure or flyer is attractive and eye-catching, especially if the customers will be responsible for picking it up themselves. You can achieve this through bold colours, thought-provoking images and stunning wordplay. Remember that the font of your brochures and flyers is the first thing your prospects see, so make them unique, bold and interesting enough to motivate customers to pick them up. Even if you grab customers' attention with an appealing design, they won't want to wade through long, dense paragraphs. Customers want to get to the point and fast. Use large, clean headlines in a sans-serif font and put larger chunks of text in a serif font. Bullet points are a great way to emphasize key ideas without taking up a lot of space, and you're not limited to blank black dots. Try making a neat, relevant graphic to use as your bullet points. Check marks, dollar signs, colored balls, animal silhouettes, and other graphics can add aesthetic appeal to your bullet points, and when done correctly, can serve to draw extra attention to top selling pitches. Remember to use plenty of white space and try using drop shadows to make your brochure and flyers designs really pop off the page. Let me give you another method. Run geo-targeted Facebook ads. Facebook has more targeted advertising capability than any other social platform. In addition to being able to advertise to a certain type of consumer based on interests or job description, you can target people who fit that criteria in a certain location. By putting a few dollars per day behind a geo-targeted Facebook campaign, you'll build up a local following over time. Be sure to continue posting great content as well to keep this new audience engaged. Ensure your Facebook ad copy goes with your visual. Many smaller businesses and even larger ones, especially in the B2B space, don't have a ton of visuals on hand. When it comes time to run an ad, there's a scramble to make sure an image gets attached. This can result in an image that doesn't go together with the copy, which presents a jarring experience for a Facebook user. If the copy and the image don't line up, they'll wonder what the ad is actually advertising. Stay focused with one call to action. The best Facebook ads have a clear goal. 
Are you trying to increase brand awareness, get a lead or sell a product? No matter what, your ad should have a clear call to action. Without it, Facebook users will see your ad, but they'll have no idea where to click or what to do. Use simple language that's easy to understand. Your number one priority should be writing a Facebook ad that's easy to understand for anyone, even a fifth grader. When someone sees your ad, they should immediately know what you're offering, how it benefits them and what to do next. If you're selling a physical product, people want to know how much it costs. If you're running a sale, people want to know what percentage they're going to get off. A copywriting strategy that works, lead with the numbers. Thank you for watching and be sure to let me know in the comments below which method from this video you are going to use first. So the next thing to do if you want more help with internet marketing is make sure you go and click the link in the description box under the video now and go visit the Internet Business School website, the UK's leading internet marketing training company. They offer a range of comprehensive courses covering all aspects of digital marketing. They will give you all the training skills and knowledge you need to create a profitable online business. They provide continuously updated content, which means you'll get cutting edge digital marketing skills that deliver results. If you're interested in that, which I hope you are, just click the link in the description box under the video and take a look at it. I hope you found this video useful. Please share it with your friends, like it and tell people about it. Finally, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and please give the video a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment under the video below and I will follow up with you. Thanks for watching.